Hi, I'm Danny from Who Killed Nelson Nutmeg. I'm the co-director and co-writer. Tim, who's doing the camera, is the other co-director. Uh, he's already done a video taking you through this very nice bit of kit, talking about the camera and how we put it together. I'm actually going to speak to you about a different bit of kit, which is the screenwriter's kit, which is just as important. In fact, some would say the most important part of any uh, filmmaking process. Right, that's the camera out of the way. Here I am with the screenwriting board, which is what we started to use to begin developing the idea. So before I speak about the board, I'm going to talk about the idea first in terms of the initial premise. So Tim came over to my house and uh, said, let's make a film together. And I was like, OK. Uh, and we sat down and we said, let's make a kids stroke family film. And we brainstormed about six ideas to kind of see what kind of an idea excited us, what sounded original, what sounded interesting. Um, we went through some of your typical things like a haunted house scenario or somebody with a cranky old granddad who has a time machine, that kind of thing. And we just thought we'd like to do things locally if we could do a film that was local. So we had the idea of setting something on the coast here in Dorset. And we had the idea to make a murder mystery action adventure uh, film uh, and then the initial name for Nelson Nutmeg I think was somebody like Charlie Chipmunk or something but that was the, the kind of kickstarter for us to kind of get this idea into motion so the next thing we did was brought out the board and very quickly very roughly got a five-act structure together or a three-act structure if you fancy but we we called it five-act structure just so it was very tight and um everything was fast paced and everything was together because with a kid's film you don't have time to mess around really you just have to get going and you have to get the story going and so we very we roughly plotted out I don't know if any of this you, that you can see or if it, even if it would make sense but just to get an idea of the skeleton of the story and if we had something to really build on from there uh, and the next thing that I was keen to do but actually at the same time very not keen to do was to write a treatment because writing treatments are such a pain in the rear end they're so difficult to do uh, but I really wanted to do one to get a better sense of the characters that we had spoken about and how everything fitted together in terms of the story because on the board you can sit back and relax and go yeah everything works there's our structure but then when you actually start writing things don't add up as well as you think they did initially so I can actually uh, I used the board as a reference, as a starting point for the treatment and it was about 10 pages long and I found it really difficult actually just to kind of make everything kind of fit together in terms of the logic that we had worked out on the board. Um, but we got it to a 10 page treatment which I proudly then gave to Tim who then proudly dismissed it completely, th threw it out the window uh, because what Tim wanted to do next after the treatment was to work on a very detailed beat sheet. So moving on from this and the treatment, put that aside. Uh, we worked on a beachy, which there's not much to look at now apart from me, I'm afraid. So sorry about that. Uh, unless Tim wants to cut away to something on screen. Uh, but we worked on a beachy, which was the kind of motive behind that was to make sure that the screenplay, once we started writing it, was as visual as possible. Um, and it was as fast paced and structurally tight as possible. So almost as detailed as a, as a storyboard uh, in many ways and Tim did a draft of that and then we did a few drafts of that together and then we went to one of the BAFTA networking parties do's things for a children's event and I spoke to a children's producer there and she gave me a really good tip in terms of writing a kids feature film she said if you could make it 70 minutes long especially for the budget we have in mind that would be a good thing to do so on my way home, I was thinking, OK, if that's the case, then I'm looking at about 70 to 80 page screenplay. Uh, and so I started writing the script on the train home from London back to Bournemouth just to see the pace and flow of it again, to see how it was working. And I just started writing uh, the script, got about 12 pages done uh, on the train home, about two hours. And I did it that quickly because we had done the treatment, because we had done the beat sheets. So I wasn't shy of content to pull from. And that was very useful. Um, and then I just continued doing that first draft and again gave it to Tim. And then from there, what we did was we sat down together and worked out line by line 
and page by page and sequence by sequence just working out the logic again making it stronger putting in more gags into the um, story making it as funny as possible making sure then that the characters were good the character dynamics uh, the theme that we had in mind for the script and the kind of individual character arcs for every uh, character uh, so we did that a few times and now we're up to draft six and we think we're about 80% there, I think. Uh, I think we're aware of one or two weaker areas in the script, which every screenwriter, I'm sure, will tell you. Uh, but we're very excited. We're, uh, we've given it out to industry people that we trust and we um, know. So we're hoping for good feedback and then to take the film forward to a final draft, to a shooting draft. And who knows after that, maybe the kids will help us in terms of giving us the right dialogue to use. Uh, but so far, it's been it's been very exciting and that's been the process from premise to board to beat sheet to script and that's the way you do it.